Hi there, Galen here. Today I'm sharing pattern paper and coloring, and I'm going to show a slower version of Copic coloring uh, for this video, and just to show you how I color up the bunnies in very light shades and layers of them. And so I start with stamping with Copic friendly or alcohol friendly ink. And then I have this paper pack. It's beautiful. By Unity, it's called Magnolia Dreams. I am going to use pieces of different papers in this kit here. And I trim them, pre-cut them and trim them for layers uh, for the card. And so for the stamping, I used different shades, light shades of Copic markers. And um, I'm going to slow it down here. I list the marker colors here and on my blog so that you can uh, kind of see the layers and shades. There's not very many colors, but they're very light. And so if you want a bunny, let's say a white bunny, um, you know, you can still color the image to make it look like a white bunny that with, you know, maybe some shadows here and there. And you use that with Copic coloring. And then I added some more shades, uh, sort of a peach shade, pink, gray and beige, sort of uh, all different layers of them. Uh, you'll see here as I go along. And so I start around the stamp lines of the outline stamp, and then I blend in towards, uh, towards the middle, if you will, the middle area. And then sometimes I just overlap the coloring also. There are no rules, you know, just, uh, as you go along, you can just add shades and that's what I'm doing. So I'm not sure if there's a bunny in these exact colors, but I think what tur it turned out to be is more of a tan, light brown, light gray bunny. And there are tons of those out there. So, you know, you just go with whatever colors you have. Um, if you have darker shades go over it with a zero marker or a colorless blender to lighten lighten things up a little bit for your coloring and you see um, adding a little bit of pink on the cheeks then i go in and add that on the the ears and around some of the other colors there blended in and uh, so now, once the coloring is done, however you want to color the bunnies, uh, once the coloring is done, that uh, for this particular panel, I added some ink blending with Distress Ink along the um, edges inward for the ink blending. I have an ink blending brush and uh, some Distress Ink pads. I use sponge sugar and cracked pistachio for these colors. And um, I use hybrid ink for the stamping. It's uh, alcohol friendly. And this card is going to be a flat card as well. It's going to have no foam tape. I use flat double-sided tape. And um, you know, sometimes I'm gonna try to make a goal of using flatter cards this, this year to make mailing a, a little bit easier and less expensive. So, um, Sometimes you want to add dimension with foam tape. This time I'm just keeping everything flat. So once you have some layers of green and pink blended into each other, you just kind of stop. I just kind of blended the, the pink out up towards the top. Not all the way to the top, but I blended it lighter towards the top. There are little hearts there uh, above this bunny, and so I just added some pink to that. Now here are some beautiful magnolia papers. I'm going to use the flat double-sided tape there to put that background panel on first onto the card base. It's an A2 size card base. And there you go. You just put that background. It's already a beautiful spring pattern. Now uh, for the frame, for the bunny frame, I added just that scripty green paper. And it's that the top needed something, so I just cut with scissors the flags. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.